I had this mudguard or a fender which clamps to the seat post. Uh, so what happened is uh, the part where the mudguard clamps to the seat post broke off. So I went to a few shops uh, to ask whether they have a replacement for this uh, but, the, but the shops near me did not have this re replacement and they told me I need to buy, the, buy a whole new uh, fender. So if I bought a whole new fender, the existing fender would be a waste. So I thought what if I can 3D print the clamp. So I searched online but the model I found was uh, a bit weak. So I decided to make my own because I wanted something stronger. So what I did, uh, so I removed the part, took some dimension of them uh, and started designing my own. I made some changes in the actual part. I increased the thickness uh, of the parts uh, to make it stronger. I am not focusing here on the aesthetics but on the functionality of the parts. Once the part is designed, the, uh, the model is converted to an STL file which is then sliced in a slicer. After slicing the STL file, I printed the part. Okay, so the part is printed. Uh, I have used ABS to print the part because ABS would be a strong option for this. So we want to see uh, if the part fits. I have taken the seat post and, and as you can see the part goes in gilly but uh, it's still a bit loose. So what I am going to do, I do not want to waste this part or print a new one. So I am going to use some kind of packing to hold the clamp in its place. So I have fixed the 3D printed clamp uh, to my uh, mudguard and my seat post and as you can see it works well. So we are going to put it on my bike now. So just like this try finding methods to uh, reduce waste. 3D printing is one of them because it uses additive manufacturing technique which produces almost zero waste. Uh, so I hope you uh, enjoy the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.